Hello, freak bitches. While we're on this uh, subject of subatomic particles and, and weirdness, I wanted to, I wanted, if you could, illuminate this often misused explanation for the observer effect. Because you know the the particles waves and you watch them and observe them and it changes the reaction. It is heavily misunderstood. It's misunderstood yes. because people want to attribute it to magic, the magic the of the mind and the consciousness looking at it. But isn't it in fact just measuring it? Yes. Thank you. Please explain. Next question. <laughs> no, play, explain to people because I'm so tired of Joe, talking to good. hippies. Joe, you're good. It just drives you me nuts. You got to carry your people with you. I try. What, what, what are they, where are when, they coming when from? I'm the, where are you pulling? What? What? <laughs> Where, where are you getting your people? I don't know. Uh, well, the, I, I don't own them for sure. You don't own them. So they're okay. definitely not my people. They vary greatly. You can't even loop them together. I know. If you, you, got, at, you, like, have, you have an admirably diverse following and that not many people can claim that. And it's probably because of your diverse profile. Right. I mean, well, I'm as open minded as I can. But be on top of that, you're smart about... and you read and you're thoughtful and you're also on some level respect. You'll hear somebody out and you're you know, you did. You got your MMA thing. So, no, you, you're in a lot of places and a lot of spaces. And that's a good thing. I mean, we need more unity in this world. So. So, well, you thank know, you. Yeah, thank you. So pl please explain what what are, what people are getting wrong. OK, and they're so very it's, simplistic. It's much simpler than you think. OK. All right. You ready? Yes. So I'm looking at you. The only reason why I can see you is because there's light reflecting off of your face, your body, into my eyes. So there's light. Oh, by the way, these are stars. That's beautiful. Yeah, those are Hubble photographs. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, those oh, are uh, images from the Hubble. I didn't when I walked in. They're sheets that you put over the uh, fluorescent light cover. Very and nice. so when we look up, we actually see the Very real nice. real images so, from so the you're Hubble. you're pretending it's the night sky. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't <laughs> look as cool a completely as it could be. recording studio. Well, what I want to do in the future studio, I want to actually build a glass ceiling and have a full-scale image, high-resolution image of the stars. So a planetarium. Have, yes. Yeah, that you're and, describing a planetarium. Yeah, exactly. Call it that. It's a planetarium. Well, something like that. <laughs> but I just wanted an image. Yeah, what you can, yeah, no, what you, no, do Is better than that. Is there a way to that. do it? Tell no, me no, how to do it. No, I'll do it. No, do better than that. You get a, you, you just, you, you get a curved version of those very high resolution LED screens. Curved. Yeah. Okay. And then you put any image up there you want. Ooh. And then, okay. then so it's the do... night sky tonight. It's what the sky looks like from. From Alpha Centauri. Oh, so like when you go to see one of those star shows at a planetarium and they show it on the ceiling above you. Well, yes, but nowadays that the ceiling itself is the is the source of light. Right. It's not projected from something right. else. Right. So then you just feed that with image data and Dude. then it becomes whatever you want. Can yeah. you hook me up with someone who knows how to do that? Yeah, I can totally. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know people? I got people. Well, I mean, people you, that like you need my people? planetariums. You need my people for you're, something? Well, you're, you know I knew, the I real you had people. people. <laughs> well, you know the people at the top that <laughs> would teach the people. So we'll okay, get Okay, so we'll here it is. So I'm looking at you. Okay. All right? Yes. And I see you. I want to know where you are. So I turn on the lights and I say, there you are. All right. Now, let's make you tinier. Let's make you mini me. Okay, like in the movie. Um, right. So now it's a tiny version of you, a mini me version of Joe Rogan. Now you're little. I turn on the lights, you're still there. Okay? Okay. Because if the lights are not on, I can't see you. I don't know where you are. Right. It's that simple. Okay. Okay? When you start becoming the size of molecules, right on down to the size of an atom, and I ask the question, where is Joe Rogan the atom? And I turn on the light to see you there, because I think you're there. The light, the photon comes in, hits your atom, and pops you into another location. Mm. The very act of trying to measure your position prevents me from measuring your position. And it has have jack shit to do with your consciousness or your mind or your eyes or anything. It has to do with the fact that to know you're there, some information has to come from you to me, like shining a light on you. And the smaller you are, the more susceptible you are to the, the, the energy of the light changing your position in space. So my question is, how you know do like? they know? Wait, wait, you oh, know what it's sorry. like? You ever, I don't know if this is still happen, you, you, a quarter spills out of your pants pocket on the back seat of a car, and it's there in the wedge between the bottom and the back seat, mm -hmm. and so you try to reach in to get it, and the act of reaching for the coin 
makes the coin move farther away from you. Ah. The act of reaching for it. Right, you because you separate the You separate it and it just slides down even further. That's not your mind making that happen. It's the, it's the act of the measurement that is affecting what it is you're trying to measure. And this was discovered in quantum physics to the point where that's actually, it's the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It's, it's one of the basic foundations of all of quantum physics. <laughs>